Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. So guys, welcome to our part five of our video. So here we're gonna see all the information in the users panel in a nice card view. So in the previous, all those parts for parts, I work with the admin panel. And if you see the code, all the admin panel functionality is done. The my database migration models controller, everything that we worked on. So full code like destroy and this updated edit functionality and storing information in the database is done everything is done perfectly as you can see here we can go to the index page we can go to the edit page we can delete it and we can create our application create information from our admin panel so this is our admin panel now we need to create our own users panel so that you can see all the information in a nice card view and go to the youtube link github link everything that they want and here we need to go to our main application where we want to work with our not admin panel but this should be users panel so here we need to create a new folder which is give us a nice little idea which we want to do so its name should be users panel or the users panel okay so here all the thing these users will see when they just search and browse through this application web application so here we just right click on it and create a new file here and it should be home page so this is actually our users home page dot blade dot php so this should be our main home page where we'll implement navigation search functionality pagination every single thing that we want would be in here in this page home page okay and we're going to render all this information in a nice card view here using the bootstrap and here you can go to the create page as well or the index page which are even you would like if i go to the index page and I'm gonna copy all everything because we need the bootstrap uh, CDN link and the uh, CSS link as well. So everything. And if you add any custom CSS, you can add any CSS and this is file is linked like this way. So I'm just gonna copy this admin index page. Just copy everything from here and just paste it here. And you can delete everything. We don't need this table. We don't need this table and its name should be users page, users panel okay so this is the users panel of projects you can see the all the projects that the admin uploaded home page okay this is our main home page and this looks really nice we have a we have a h1 tag we have a horizontal rule now we need a card view so for the card view we can go to the bootstrap and here we're going to go to the bootstrap and just copy all the card view because card view is really nice to show all the information that is coming from the same and uh, same this database all this information okay we need to go to our components and here you know, we need uh, cards or everything don't worry we'll add navbar every single routing function in the later part of the video but now we just work with our uh, normal content and showing all the information dynamic information from the database in a nice card view so you can just uh, copy the same thing this is for the simple uh, card view you can have different type of card view if you want about laravel django node.js all of the things by exploring the all the bootstrap framework and the documentation you will just learn a lot of hell of a thing and in programming you need to learn every single thing by yourself most of the thing just a, a instructor cannot tell you every single thing you just need to know it by yourself as well so i'm gonna give it some width of 20 suppose 20 rem and this is the way you can do it by css no problem whatsoever i just want to work with our laravel uh, development just you can do css by your own choice and make it really really awesome and beautiful and make your own portfolio as well so here we're gonna go to uh, see our images so go to slash images slash and here we want to see the project and here we're gonna go to the thumbnail so we're gonna go to the so this is the picture there of the project so it, it should be a smaller case okay and here we're gonna see the project and here we're gonna see the particular project and its title and again i'm doing the same mistake this should be a smaller p and we need a description just you can copy the same thing again and just just paste it very simply and this should be our description okay so this should be our description 
so we we won't want to see the description here because the description is too large we want to see that information in the main page in the next video we're going to work with this so we're going to uh, go to the category page okay so we want to show the category and category has an attribute of name because we connected that the two models like projects and category in the previous video so here if we go to project we have a project category as you can see that's why we can go from project to category table because those are two different table okay so two different tables so we're going to go to the project first and the category and then you want to show the category name and go somewhere this is the detail page so if you click on this you go to the detail okay so detail button is here so this is for routing in a different page okay so this should be in a dynamic template we have a slash images uh, slash this dynamic template we have our images okay so there's a mistake there just solve it because this is super important then we have our title and we have our category and our details so these are the three information that we want to see uh, out of all the information that we gather and here you can also just link your github link or uh, youtube link as well if you want suppose i'm giving a suppose here i'm giving a button to go to the youtube link and one is for the github link and one is for the detail page suppose and first this one is for the git and this is for the youtube and one is for git one is for youtube okay this link is for youtube link and we can go there by project okay and project here you're gonna go to the github underscore link and in the next part we're gonna go to here we're gonna paste it and we're gonna go to youtube link okay youtube underscore link and if we go to click on that youtube it will go to the youtube uh, youtube video and if you click on git it will go to the github link okay and this link is actually this link and these two links okay we're gonna go to that and make sure we have a target which is underscore blank okay we need that property because if we click on that it will go to the it will open another tab so this is the same very important thing if you know basic html you know this thing okay and for the github we're gonna add different which is danger because it is a red and github it is suppose uh, it is primary suppose okay and the detail page is also primary and make sure detail page is success it looks better in the detail page okay so there would be three different buttons here and the title category of the project and its images and github button and youtube button and the detail page so this is all the information that you want now which how we gonna get all this information because this is just a simple simple html page and its name is homepage.blade.php it is simple page how are we gonna get all this information so we need to create a i think we need to create a controller here so we're gonna create another bash file bash terminal here we're going to create another controller so php artisan make controller and this name should be home page controller controller and dash dash resource to give us all the resources okay so make sure it, we have a different controller for different kind of user panel so this is a user panel so we have it we should have a different controller as we are working with the home page and make sure its name is home page controller as well so that's just a resource and give, give us the controller so if we go there in the top panel we have a home page controller very simple now home page controller will render out this page so home page controller should have a functionality to render that page first let me create those uh, delete those junk files so as you can see all the thing that will work is really perfectly now I want to add two more models with the controller so go to the admin project controller and just we want two things which is category and the project and here we're gonna home page controller we're gonna paste those two things because we need those models to work with our database and the query so because this is the controller it works with our models and our view functions as well so that we can render this information in a particular template so which information that we want to render when you go to that particular page like home page so how can we go to that particular home page through home page controller so in the home page controller index function we don't need this store function here we don't need store function here and we don't even need an edit function here because we're not going to edit anything we we won't be updating anything we won't be destroying anything we don't need all of those things just keep it simple and clear just to work with, and we also don't need a create thing because we are not going to create any of this angle we just need to show because of the detail page here we're going to work with our detail okay 
so detail page here we're gonna work with our detail page so just make a comment so that you can understand what's going on this is for showing all the dynamic data to home page okay so show all the dynamic data from the home page first we need to query all the information using project variable and we're going to go to project model and here we're going to query all the information now it's just a simple query just give me all the projects we want and here you can also set a particular limit okay and here you can see uh, it's, uh, give us a limit that which projects you want if, we, if you want three projects from the database you can get three but here we have only one project as you can see id so uh, the limit will not work that well so we're going to get to all because we only have one project in our database okay so name it projects and we're going to return a view and it says that why we want to show all those projects information in a card view we need to go to the home page so here you need to write users panel dot home page we are going in the users panel now and users panel has a home page dot blade dot page this is not admin our admin work is done so it's done we need to work with our home page so here you're going to pass this information and we need to use a compact function which is work as a context like in the django we have our context to pass information to the dynamic template and here you're going to write projects and this projects variable is this projects okay we're going to show every single projects there so you're going to passing all this information uh, in a home page so if you go to the web.php you can copy something like it i'm just copying this and this should be a get function okay this is for home page and here this is not this is not home this is just a simple slash project slash index and we're going to go to the index function and this method is different this is home page controller and if you go to the home page controller and home page controller index function and it will trigger this route okay and its name should be projects.index projects.index this is the dynamic route name okay so we need to trigger the projects slash index page so here uh, everything is done our functionality is done properly and just we need to go to a home page and here we need to use the for loop okay so for loop is super important so here you can use for each loop for each loop okay so for each loop you just pass all the div here okay so it, lo it looks far better and this collection should be our projects so this is the thing we passed from our home page controller as you can see the home page we just pass this projects context okay so if you go to that page and this page and its name should be single project and this is the object and this object holds all this property and here we can access this property like its thumbnail title category and its uh, github link youtube link and everything that you want i just uh, i just didn't add the description and these skills because this would make the card view look really really bad and if you click on the detail you can see all this information from there as well so this is very simple simple and easy stuff and i think it is the everything that we need here so for each loop and you can use if else as well so if you write if and if here you're gonna write uh, the for each loop you're gonna copy everything and cut it and within the if and end if we can paste it here because if you see any projects in the database if you see that you can see all this information in a for loop okay so we need to write if projects if projects if there is any projects that then show me all the projects information in a card view object okay so the object is this object and from this object we can uh, get its property Refresh it again i think you will see as you can see we have a github link github link and the uh, detail okay so we just need to give it some style so that it looks better and give so in the class you just give some margin and padding so margin left of five okay and margin top of five it looks better and margin left of five i think it looks better and we need a padding around it padding of two i think it will look, work better let's check it out so we need a container and within a container with it should work so we need to write div and div should has a class of container okay 
So within this container, we're gonna pass all every single thing, like for each loop and paste it within a container. And if and end if, and I'm gonna copy the if logic here, just cut it and paste it here, okay, within a container. And just cut it and paste within a for each loop, okay. So this is for for each loop this is for if and if just indent it properly so that it looks better so within a container we have a project to check if there is any project then we have a for each loop and we're going to query every single information using a property of our object so this is i think this will work really better and as you can see it, it is coming from this direction if we have multiple projects it will show there and this is our category name and this is our this name so we need to add a category here and this should be category and obviously i think this should be in a bold text okay this should be in a bold text or a strong tag text i think it will look better as you can see it definitely looks better be category okay okay so our category is this category give it uh, some space okay this is a category level this is the title this is the particular image and if you click on this it will go to or this application and the github pages you can see all the code you can go to the youtube pages and if you go to the detail it will go to our main detail but that project this page should be uh quit in the next video i'm going to show every single project in a detailed view okay so in the next part and the upcoming parts you're going to work with the awesome make this card view really really beautiful give it a nice shadow and give us a nice css and reflex and flex box everything we're going to work with in full detail okay and that's all for guys today so firstly i'm just working really hard on the development that we're going to make the ui look really beautiful in one of one of the particular video where you're going to get all the information that you need okay so first to work with our main uh, projects and then we're going to work with our everything later so that's all for today that is the ui part of the user panel where you're going to see every single information in a nice card view so thanks all for it guys i hope you guys like this video and subscribe as much as possible because i'm really really working so hard for these projects and i want to learn i want to make sure that everyone learn this laravel so easily and perfectly